to be fair, when I was in my experimental days, ecstasy was my drug of choice. You don't say. What? What? Is that not surprising? <laughs> Why is that not surprising? I'm confused. Is it because it's a sex drug? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Wait, is that because it's a sex drug? Yes, sir. <laughs> Careful, you might get some dope. That's not how I said it. That's not how I said it. <laughs> That's how we all heard it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, nope, there she goes again. It's not it's coming. All right, now I have to turn on Twitch. Three, two, one. Shut up, Shut up, All right, while y'all are doing that, Plank Cat's tune is the actually the OxyClean guy. So, his students made him a meme and turned him into Mr. Clean. Oh yeah. I have that shit saved. I'll totally post that in Discord. It's the greatest thing ever. <laughs> it's it's fucking hilarious. Dino. Yes, dear. He said he came in the butt end. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Wait, you know? I'm in play. I'm sorry, I could help it. Dude, like, Destiny was my game. I ran in- What rank were you? For Destiny? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you all. I'm still slightly- it, I'm slightly stoned it now. Five? It was- Was it six? It was, uh- No, no, no it was two. Fuck- Over under four. Q. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Look, I am- Fucking bitter, okay? I'm allowed to be fucking bitter. That game was. None of us can tell. Fuck that game. No, I did. <laughs> that funny. She just went up about six octaves. I kind of like yeah. that. At least. I <laughs> said so my headphones fell out. <laughs> <laughs> you just broke the poor girl. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I didn't take much tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've actually never heard those those sounds. So. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you could get that high pitch. That's kind of impressive. I can't breathe. <laughs> I'm gonna wake her daughter up. I mean, oh, she's... No. <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna get the hiccups? Are you doing the like laugh hiccuping things? Yeah. I'm trying to like not pass out. <laughs> that would probably be good. Not passing out is probably good. Oh my god, because I don't even know why I'm laughing anymore either. It's because you're, you're stoned. <laughs> <laughs> no, someone said something. <laughs> Oh my god. We were supposed to get off at 10 o'clock. It is now 10 11. Actually, I do have yeah. a question for Blind. Um, wasn't your pick Cardi B? Yeah. Yeah. She's uh, getting divorced. Yeah, she's filing for divorce. So yeah. you, have, you have a chance. Yeah. Yeah. Apparently, you better <laughs> watch him. <laughs> Whatever. If, he's, if he sleeps with Cardi B, then I sleep with Cardi B tw once removed. <laughs> oh, <that's true>. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I saw that earlier. That was the first thing I thought. I was like, oh, it's all, it's all falling into place. Oh my God. <laughs> I heard that and I was like, I think that's Blind's <laughs> his, number one. His one. One first choice. <laughs> yeah. oh. Can I heal them, though? Will... Oh. Oh yeah, I want this mount too. I really want this serpent leaf. So do not kill the balls. Leave the balls alone. They are delightful. They are your friends. I like balls. <laughs> <laughs> Don't touch them. Not until it's time. Wait until it enlarges the shaft. Then you can touch them. 
Okay. Alright, my shaft. I, I got my shaft off first. You guys are slacking. Um, make sure you don't try to jump on there because. <laughs> okay, let's do this thing. Alright. Well then. <laughs> Dog wants us That's to start. That's a good way. There's a puppy? Do we get an animal <laughs> companion that doesn't die? Is that what I understand from I that? Mean, where my head no. went. Whoa. Hello, right? Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> my my daughter is also actually, ready for D&D. We can actually kill this dog. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what a horrible thing to say. I, I don't like you no yes. more. That's okay. I'm okay with that. Oh. Okay. <laughs> what is this? A John Wick campaign? <laughs> <laughs> so, fuck my life, right? Because I read Jabroni, right? Because so you're like, you ain't lying. She's a mad black lady. I'm guessing you come out your how your mom could still still ground you. Then the following <laughs> sentence was, she does have some WAP, and I was like. Unless he's using WAP as a different terminology? This just got really fucking awkward, and then I realized that you were talking about Cardi B, and not your mom. So... <laughs> I am too high to put contents to, uh... Contents? <laughs> contents to these. <laughs> Oh my, yeah, you're cut off. No more for yeah. you. <laughs> See, this is the best part. <laughs> this is when she gets high, it's all, it's all down here from there. <laughs> He's already snorting. <laughs> okay, so it's taking you kind of high. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, serious faces. Serious faces. Oh. Yep. Okay. <laughs> We left off with our adventurers camping in a cave with O. O is <coughs> Orban's other self from a different time period. He had been camping in this cave for years in order to pass on information he had learned to the adventurers every time they made it this far. O has seen the same things play out time and time again as if they were stuck in a forever occurring loop. The adventurers must find out how to break the cycle or be destined to relive the same events for eternity. The morning has come, and they awake to see O standing at the entrance of the cave. He is anxious as he stares out into the ash and fire-covered land. The land is quiet as the ash falls to the ground like snow. It's almost a serene feeling until the smell of death that is riding on the breeze. O raises his bow and pulls back the drawstrings with a deep breast, breath, breast, woohoo, sorry, <laughs> with a deep breath. He releases the arrow. It flies with great precision through the smoke and flame when in the next moment you hear horrid sound. A horse comes charging out of the flame. He's burning alive. The arrow strikes the horse right between the eyes as he crashes to the ground, his lifeless body still engulfed in the flame. Under his breath, O could be heard saying, I thought we had more time. What? <laughs> I could have stopped the pony from you know, burning alive, but then you shot him. <laughs> oh, what, do, what does the burning horse mean? Is this is this character, or is this yes. just... Okay. <laughs> Are you asking, oh, what the burning horse means? Yes. Okay. Oh, what is the... What, is this, what does this mean? <sighs> I have to tell you something. Just know that I am sorry. But I haven't been completely truthful with all of you. You see, when I made it this far, I wasn't alone. Myself and Or- I mean, I mean Cade. He looks down at the ground and sighs. Well, we made it here together. This land was barren and there was nothing and no one. It seemed to go on forever and after walking for what felt like days we found this cave. It was a sleepless night as we relived the things we thought we had to do. Things we thought that were right. But all we did was change the loop. You see, while, in our pa while our paths are different, the feelings and emotions we live through, live through leave a genetic footprint in our future selves. I'm sorry, Salmira. I'm sorry for what we did to you. 
We heard stories. We were told that a sea witch hid among the people and that she was the cause of all this. That we killed her beloved. And so during the night, while we were resting in a cabin, Kate and I had drank ourselves into a stupor. We believed that you had tricked us and that you were the one, that you were only trying to ensure that we failed. Cade raised his sword over you while you slept and drove it into you. I'm really sorry. As he, be he begins to, to weep, I'm sorry that I killed you. The time we spent in this cave changed us. One morning when we awoke, Orvin, well, Orvin and I had somehow swapped bodies. I am not Orvin at all, you see, but Cade. The same day, we were ambushed, and Orvin, not used to being, well, me, rushed into battle without hesitation and was killed where he stood. I, I just ran. I spent years in this cave going mad. You see, back in the cavern when I took your life, I realized that I had loved you since the day we met, and now knowing that my actions have caused me to feel a deep loss in all of my future selves. Nothing in this world is done without consequence. I sat in this cave and watched you guys get this far a number of times. Sometimes it was only one or two of you, and sometimes you all made it. But every time, I watched you all burn. One day, after dozens of failed attempts, I decided to intervene. I would try and explain things to you, and usually it would end in some sort of battle because there was no way you believed what I had to say. I slowly began gaining more and more information with every failed attempt. Sadly, I thought, sadly though, I believe that we are out of time. Today is the day that the world burns and everything resets. If you can't stop this loop, we are all destined to die today and be reborn into the same lives and live it again and again. Oh, confused. <laughs> okay. Kate, I'll take a drink. To <laughs> <laughs> 120 in an hour. What? That's what Riptar said. Yeah, but, but you have to. I'm sure everybody else that he runs with is extremely geared. Are you saying that I'm not extremely geared? <laughs> 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 I don't know. I felt like using that voice still, but it kind of hurt. Oh my. And see. A slight glow but the path ahead is dark and foggy and covered uh. and this is where we end today's <laughs> session <laughs> for make sure to like and subscribe this video for more content next week <laughs> and see how our adventures <laughs> pop up